You're doing awesome. Thank you. You know my number. It was the fall of 2013 when I started with uh, bronchitis, pneumonia type symptoms and was going to my family doctor. And that went on for several months and then in January of 2014 is when uh, she did a chest x-ray and saw that I had a enlarged heart. And uh, so then she sent me to a cardiologist at a different hospital and uh, they were gonna set me up with some, what some- uh, It was actually gonna be, I think, a- uh, Clinical trials a clinical of some trial. kind. But then uh, they did an echo and that's when, well, I came, it was like a couple days later, I came back for an echo after my first appointment with them. And uh, they said they'd get back with me in a couple of days and I didn't even make it home yet. And they called me and said, we need you to come back. What we saw toward the end here of the year as he came in right before the holidays was the final, uh, the final stages of a very advanced disease. I mean, one of the things we want people to know in the community is that heart failure is common. Uh, it is a very lethal disease. It is more lethal than most types of cancer combined. Uh, the average survival for patients with heart failure is around five years. Very few of our patients will ever be transplant candidates. We knew he was sick. We knew that. We knew he needed the heart. But to hear him say he would have died had he not got a transplant, that um, is kind of makes you step back and think. We had been uh, prepared to stay, you know, two, three months because that's what some of the previous ones had had waited. So we were prepared to to have to wait that long, and then. Uh, one morning, early in the morning, I was told I couldn't eat anything, said they were going to do some tests and stuff. So then a little bit later in the morning, I asked what kind of tests they were going to do, and the nurse said she didn't really know. He was more concerned why you couldn't eat. <laughs> so then uh, later the doctors came in, and they were just doing their normal morning visit and everything, and then, I mean, they, I, they weren't going to tell me. Well, I asked them why I couldn't eat, and they, that's when they told me they thought they had a match, and I just, I was so shocked. I just have much more energy, more focused, uh, more alert. It's the recovery time, too. I mean, when he goes and walks, if you exert yourself, when he's done walking, he bounces back from that, whereas before, yeah. I mean, it would be... It would take longer to it would catch take my breath. Time. When you get another type of organ, you're, you're thankful, and you can thank the donor. But when you really stop and think about it, I mean, you can't think that hard about it because then you're thinking about someone having to pass in order for him to be getting the gift. And so you're not only, I was asking people not only to pray for us, yeah, but the family that had to give that up.